Good morning at 725. I'm Michael Marsh. And I'm Cheryl Jones. It is 34 degrees. We'll have weather and traffic in just a moment. And now for some news. What started out as a report of a speeding car has ended with two metro area men in the hospital. All that's left is a pile of twisted metal from two cars that collided at the intersection of Colfax and Perry in Denver. The crash ended a chase with a car police first saw speeding just before midnight. The uh, suspect's vehicle was traveling about 70 miles an hour when he attempted to come through the intersection of Colfax and Sheridan. He broadsided the vehicle, which was northbound on Sheridan at the time. Police say 28-year-old Randy Steele was driving the car they were chasing. He'll be charged with vehicular assault, eluding an officer, and possibly drunk driving. Steele is in intensive care at Denver General Hospital with multiple injuries. The man in the other car, Joseph Sauzo, is in surgery at St. Anthony Central. Salzo's also being tested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Only one person has died on Colorado highways this holiday period. John uh, Hensley of Johnstown was killed in an accident near Greeley on Christmas Eve. Last year, 15 people died in holiday traffic accidents. State Patrol says good driving conditions in a shorter holiday period are two reasons the count is much lower this year. Well, apartment stores will pick up today where they left off before Christmas, open longer hours to attract shoppers. This time, retailers are banking on your coming in for the after Christmas sales. December 26th is often one of the biggest shopping days of the year. You may be going back to the store to return gifts that don't fit or just weren't what you wanted. You'll have an easier time if you bring along all you can to show that the item was purchased at that store. Remember that stores may offer only exchanges or credits instead of cash returns. Return doesn't necessarily mean you'll always get full value if the item has been reduced since the holiday. And look at weather and traffic coming up next. Brian Jordan is standing by now with the latest on traffic. Good morning, Brian. How does it look out there at this hour? Well, Cheryl, it's looking uh, pretty sunny, actually, getting ready for some sunshine flowing in these eastbound spots. You might want to grab your sunglasses before you head out. And inbound on the Boulder Turnpike, they're still there with this uh, car after a high-speed chase. This is inbound at about Sheridan. They have uh, the car is over on the right shoulder with police, just causing a little bit in the way of slowing. A little bit of uh, volume here and there around the freeway. Should be able to make a pretty good drive of it, though. Reporting for 7 News, Brian Jordan, Metro Traffic Control. How's about the weather, Cheryl? The weather looks pretty good, especially for the day after Christmas. We are unseasonably warm once again right now. We have 34 degrees in Denver, Aurora 29, and Boulder is 35 degrees. Now, the high yesterday did get up to 53. Our morning low this morning actually is 34, and the normal high and low for this day is 45, 17. Record 68 and 5 below zero. Humidity this hour standing at 45 percent. Winds are southeasterly at 9. They're going to be shifting around from to the west and northwest, though, and warm us up a bit, and the barometer's on the rise at 3098. Taking a quick look at the cloud cover, satellite shows you uh, the varied clouds around the state. We have patches here and there. Otherwise, the most cloud cover is kind of sinking down into the Tennessee and Ohio Valley. That's in association with yet another system. In the west, still some fog problems for parts of the valleys. Here's a look at the, what we have. It'll be a little windy today, especially along the foothills. We're looking at this cold front that's moving our way. It should be sagging through our area tonight, but it'll only cool us off by about 10 or 12 degrees overall for tomorrow. Otherwise, high pressure continues to give us a promise of some downsloping winds today. That's why our winds should be gusting uh, as high as 30 or 35 miles an hour in the foothills. Otherwise, unseasonably warm as some areas in the east today could reach 60 degrees. Here's the forecast for Denver for today. High of 56 for Denver. Windy at times, 10 to 20 for the Denver area. And for tonight, low of 22. And then for tomorrow, a little bit cooler and a little bit cloudier as well with a high around 42 degrees. And that's pretty close to our seasonal norm. Okay, thanks a lot, Cheryl. Of course, we'll have more at 825. Enjoy the day. Good morning, it's 825. I'm Michael Marsh. And I'm Cheryl Jones. Another very nice day coming up in Colorado, and we'll have weather and traffic in just a moment. But first, the news. Adams County authorities have called off an intensive search for a suspect involved in a high-speed chase along Sheridan Boulevard this morning. Two men were in a car leading police. The car pulled off the road and into a field, and both suspects ran away. Now, police caught one, then mounted a search for the other using tracking dogs. There's been no sign of him, then, and they are just cruising the area now, just in case he may still be around. Another high-speed chase earlier this morning has left two suspected drunk drivers in the hospital. All that's left of a... The accident was a pile of twisted metal at the corner of Colfax and Sheridan in Lakewood. The crash ended a chase which began when a Lakewood police cruiser spotted a speeding car just before midnight. The uh, suspect's vehicle was traveling about 70 miles an hour when he attempted to come through the intersection of Colfax and Sheridan. He broadsided the vehicle which was northbound on Sheridan at the time. 
Police say 28-year-old Randy Steele was driving the car they were chasing. He'll be charged with vehicular assault and possibly drunk driving. He's in serious condition at a Denver hospital. The man driving the other car, Joseph Salzo, is in critical condition at St. Anthony's Hospital. He's also being tested for driving under the influence. Three members of a helicopter rescue team were in the hospital today, too. Their chopper crashed on its way back to Denver from Monument Valley, Utah, Christmas Eve. Air Life pilot Mike Myers is in critical condition at St. Mary's Hospital in Grand Junction. Two nurses are in serious and in fair condition. Now that Christmas is over, the IRS has a present to bring Colorado taxpayers. That brings them back to reality, too. 1985 income tax returns are going out today. We're told you can expect to get yours at least by the 10th of this month, or rather next month. This year's return includes a rare apology from Uncle Sam for delays in last year's refunds because of a computer foul-up. Weather and traffic coming up next. Let's go down to Brian Jordan and see what's happened in the last hour in the traffic situation. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Cheryl. And what's happened is those freeways have really drained out quickly. I just can't believe the offices are going to be full around town. And there may be people heading up into the mountains. And just in case you are, we checked with the state patrol. Nothing in the way of uh, snow tires or chains sort of restrictions, uh, no matter where you're heading. Shouldn't uh, Driving shouldn't be a problem anyway, as long as you can uh, ski. Reporting for 7 News, Brian Jordan, Metro Traffic Control. Back to Cheryl. It looks like great weather for doing uh, anything, I guess. It is, including driving around the state of Colorado. Thank you very much, Brian. That's one good thing about such a mild weather pattern. We don't have to worry about bad roads out there for a change. Denver this hour, 34 degrees. Aurora down to 29. And Boulder has 38 degrees. The high yesterday, 53. Our morning low this morning, 33 degrees. That occurred around 630. The normal high and low for this day, 45 and 17. So we still are on the unseasonably warm side. Record 68 and 5 below. Humidity at this hour, 45%. Winds are southeasterly at 8. They're going to be switching around to the, uh, from the west and northwest today, though, and the barometer is on the rise. Taking a look at the satellite to show you where the clouds are, just a few here and there kind of speckled across Colorado. Quite a few of them, though, lining uh, uh, the areas from the upper Mississippi Valley, Great Lakes area, down into the Tennessee Valley. And in the west, we still have some valley fog reported to cause some traffic problems with lower visibilities. However, here's what we have. More cold air is headed our way. It's not going to be a really frigid blast, but rather uh, this cold front will be moving through tonight, and it'll cool us off by tomorrow. In the meantime, still windy. High pressure dominates, and it looks like we're going to have a very nice day and seasonably warm. Some areas in the east could reach 60 degrees today. Again, winds near the foothills. Here's the forecast for today. Partly cloudy and mild and uh, high around 56 degrees. Windy at times, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds for Denver. And then for tonight, partly cloudy and a little cooler with an overnight low around 22. And then for tomorrow, look for a few more clouds and cooler with, an over, uh, with a high around 42 degrees. So still, that's pretty nice. Another great one, though. You bet. We'll have more at noon. Enjoy the day.